Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another decluttering video. We have been slowly working through my house, getting it decluttered, minimizing mess, and just working through all the nooks and crannies, the areas of your house that hold lots of little details that sometimes are clutter and sometimes they are just things that need to be organized. So if you guys missed out on my last few videos, definitely go check them out on my channel to get more declutter and organizing inspiration. So we left off with this cupboard last time and this is the cupboard that holds all of our vitamins, all of our pain, um medicine cold medicine those sorts of things and it just was really cluttered there was a lot of things in here we were not even using things that were out of date so i really just needed to go through and check every individual bottle just make sure it's something we still even wanted you know sometimes you pick up something when you're going through sickness and you decide you don't really like it and you just need to throw it out. And there was a lot of this stuff in here. Overall, I really like how I organized this cabinet. If you've been around a while, you watched me organize this cabinet a while ago. And the, the system that's in here has been working really well. I will try my best to link the turntables that are in here because I feel like this is one of the best methods to organizing pill and vitamin bottles and just being able to access all of them in a cupboard without them being in a huge pile. As you can see, when I previously organized this, there is a lot of categories, things like sickness, everyday vitamins, back stock of vitamins and supplements that I had extra of, and then after I was done putting everything in the cabinet, I needed to restock some of my oil mixtures, my essential oil mixtures, and I really like to use that book that I showed you to inspire what mixtures I put together for different things that we need. I can leave that book linked below in case you want a book with a lot of great tips on how to use essential oils. So the next cabinet I moved on to was the one above my refrigerator and this is your little memo to wash the top of your refrigerator. As you can see, mine was really disgusting. All right, so we are slowly working our way around the kitchen. This cabinet, I don't really think there's anything in it that needs decluttered. That, you all saw me putting linens and stuff in in the last video, so I'm just gonna leave that up there. This is kind of our everyday dishes area and then this is the next one that is going to need to be decluttered and you all saw me organize this it's a great system it works out well but we have way too many cups and things in here so i need to go through it and get rid of some stuff and add it to our little declutter pile that we'll be either donating or throwing away depending on what state the item is in and then we can move on to some more areas So I decided to organize this cabinet in the order that we would be using the things. There was a lot of cups and glasses in here that I use a lot for iced coffees and cold drinks that we drink during hot or warm months. And since we are going into colder months, I wanted cups and mugs out that we can make hot drinks in. So I moved those cold drink glasses to the top shelf and I made sure that the mugs and things like that were on the bottom where they would be easy to access along with the girls Christmas mugs my mom gave them last year with their names on them they like to make hot chocolate with them this time of year especially if we've been outside in the snow or in the cold and this is nice and low where they can push a stool up to it and get it themselves big thank you to Eureka for sponsoring today's video. So we've been in the market for a reliable, good, multi-purpose vacuum cleaner and Eureka has met our needs. The PowerSpeed bagless upright vacuum cleaner is light and versatile. It has a powerful motor that deep cleans carpets, hard floors, and area rugs. 
It's super lightweight in design, which is really important for me because I have a lot of problems with my wrists. So having a really heavy vacuum cleaner would not work out for me, but this one is light and mighty. So it's easy to carry throughout my home and take to any spaces that I am currently cleaning. It has a quick release handle so you can clean high, low, and everywhere in between. It has five height settings that are suitable for all floor types throughout your whole home. So you can set it for a high pile carpet or a hard surface and anywhere in between. Something I appreciate a lot just because I'm always vacuuming with three children and a dog in the house is it has an extra large dust cup. So I end up with less trips to the trash can and it saves me time and energy. Along with the fact that the vacuum itself works so well and it has such powerful suction, it also has multiple accessories that are included along with the quick release handle. It has a seven inch crevice tool, a dusting brush, and an upholstery tool to help clean hard to reach areas. It extracts dirt, hair, it's fantastic to vacuum your vehicle out with. This is truly a great multi-purpose tool that you can use for anywhere in your house. And if you are a busy mom like me, you know you want a reliable vacuum cleaner that is going to help you clean up messes throughout your day. All of these handy little tools are stored right on the vacuum cleaner. Eureka knows the value of a clean home and is proud to offer a whole home cleaning solution to make your life a bit easier. So check out the information and the links in the description box below to try out Eureka for yourself. I know that you all will love this vacuum as much as I have and it may be the perfect gift for someone on your Christmas list. It's great for anyone that can't lift anything really heavy but you still want that great suction. All right, I'm so happy with how this cabinet looks. I feel like I'll be able to manage it so much better and there's just a lot more space in there then the cabinet next to that is just our everyday drinkware the girls use this size jar they're a pretty sturdy glass where if they drop them they don't normally break then these are just a nice amazon set we have and then this here actually would be a really great gift idea i'm trying to hold it so you can see the inscription on it um but it is a hockey puck into a glass and this company is called bin shot if i can remember to link them below they have all kinds of things that are being shot into a glass so for hunters and other things this would be a really fun christmas idea um no it's not sponsored or anything i just really like that brand i thought it was really neat so that is what's up here i did get a good amount of stuff decluttered from that other cabinet these were a thrift find that we enjoyed through the autumn season. I decided I'm not going to pack them into my fall decor. I'm gonna pass them on to someone else and just some other glasses and things we didn't really need. In this corner, this here holds the girls' step stools when they're folded up. This drawer is broken, so it doesn't have anything in it right now. This one you all have seen me organize before. Nothing has changed a whole lot in here. Just has my coffee and tea and things like that. I did have these up on the counter, but when I decorated for Christmas, I wanted to send simplify it so I just put them down here got like to-go cups things I use every day little drink items and these are all the lids for a lot of the cups you saw up there in the turntables I know that most of you have seen this before so I'm not going into great detail I just have a lot of drink related things little supplements for smoothies and stuff like that tea things like that down here and then next to this I don't really need to declutter anything I don't think in this drawer set so this is again, those dividers you all saw in the last video, we're gonna be working with them again today in another drawer. And it just has the regular silverware we use and the straws we use. We aren't using them very often right now, but when it's hotter outside and we're drinking cold drinks, we use them a lot more. This drawer used to have the girls' cups and things in it, and we just needed a space for bread and buns and things like that. So I turned this into kind of our bread box drawer kind of thing. And then this here holds towels, dish towels, um, dishcloths, things like that. So this area I feel really confident about. I think it's good. Now we're gonna move on to under the sink. It's a mess, be ready. Don't ask me how in the world 
this cabinet got in the state that it's in, but I am not even gonna sugarcoat it. It has been in this state for a while, quite some time. I kept thinking, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, and I just kept throwing other random things under there, and it just did not happen. So today is the day, and I'm tired of digging through this pile, looking for what I need. There was just so much clutter and things that I thought maybe I would use for one project or another and then just never did. I also sprayed the contact paper down here and washed it up. It washed up perfectly clean so I didn't need to replace it and I was able to start fresh and put the things back in that I really wanted. One of my favorite things to use under sinks is turntables. It's just easy to be able to turn the items and look for what you need and grab and go. And then I love these little containers I use for my sponges. They're just so convenient. It's easy for us to grab them as we're doing dishes or cleaning right there in the front of the cabinet. If I can find these containers on Amazon, if they are in stock, I will link them below. Sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. And then I love this vase for brushes and things like that. That's a little tip for you. If you can find a flower vase that works good at the right height for brushes, it's a really great tool to hold um, bottle brushes and scrub brushes and things like that. All right, so like I mentioned, I've been slowly going through my drawers and putting this system that I found on Amazon. It's a great price and you get that custom built-in drawer look. And it has all of these little dividers where you can keep things divided. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't go through and really go through the house and find everything I needed that needed to go in this drawer, but I just organized the stuff I wanted to keep out of the other organizer and I figured we will add to it. These types of drawers in your house are just kind of a recycling area where things go in and out and you just do your best to keep them managed. I am very happy with the pile of stuff I have here that got decluttered out of these cabinets today. And you all saw the pile in the last video, so I feel like I'm making progress getting rid of stuff we simply don't need. These were extra pieces I had under the kitchen sink that at one point they worked out for now, they're just not. These are the girls' old lunch boxes. I got them some other ones that fit inside of nice little cooler bags. So these we can pass on to someone else. I will be boxing this stuff up. And then you saw what everything turned out under there. Here is the junk drawer and there is a lot more things in our house that need to go in this drawer they're floating around but for now this is the stuff i put back in i cannot recommend this system enough um like i showed you guys in the last video i you have been transferring all of my drawers into that this drawer here just has saran wrap and plastic bags and things like that. And then down here, I did end up reusing two of the bins that were under the sink just for some wet dog food and some of our dog's needs. And there's just some trash bags under there. But as you can see, things got kind of cleaned out of here. I didn't really film decluttering that, but I'm happy with it. And then under here, we just have a space that holds like plastic wear, extra Ziploc bags and things like that. And then up here above this set of cabinets has a bunch of my herbal tinctures and some extracts I'm making, things that I need to shake and keep an eye on. And I may go into more detail on these things on my main channel, so you guys can find that linked below if you want to see more of my lifestyle stuff and not just organizing and homemaking things. And then this one here is pretty much empty right now. It did have our homeschool stuff in it, but I moved that stuff. So I've got a couple ferments going on over here. So I'm very happy with how the kitchen declutter has gone. 
and now we're ready to move on to some other rooms but i'm glad i made it the whole way through the kitchen and got every single cabinet wiped out and decluttered and got a nice amount of stuff that needs to be donated if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe leave a comment below i always love hearing your comments give this video a like and i will see you all in next week's video